Good evening folks and welcome to the Eclectic Chef channel. Tonight we're going to be working on some beef cooked in fermented plums and port. We can do this in our slow cooker. Um, actually we're going to use the instant pot. I've never used the instant pot as a slow cooker but we'll see how it works out. Now, so you'll see we've browned some cross rib roast. Um, our seasoning is going to be a couple of fresh bay leaves, thyme and oregano from our garden, a shallot and a couple of garlic cloves. The uh, beef by the way was brown in oil liberally seasoned with freshly ground black pepper. I'm not over seasoning this because I don't want to take away from the flavours of the beef. Now let's look at the key ingredient. These are fermented plums. Let's just take a look from the top. These were done with a week in a backpack bag with just salt and um, a little bit away from my kefir manufacturer. They're still firm, beautiful taste. The juice is good. I'm going to use three halves. Um, we'll cover how to do this later, but if you own a copy of the Noma Guide to Fermentation, you'll find it in there, as I say. Hopefully these will work out well with the port, but we will see. So here we have our aromatics and the fermented plums. At the bottom of our instant pot. Didn't chop everything up too coarsely. Um, because frankly I'm either going to blend this afterwards or um, sieve it through a, a chinois and just reduce it. There's the bed for our meat. Brown meat in, packed in good and tight so we don't have to put more port wine in than we need to and we're ready to put the port in. This is the port we're using today comes from Trader Joe's, $7 a bottle. Um, it's actually quite decent uh, drinker compared to some of the stuff you get at low budget in supermarkets. But the Trader Joe's I went to today, they did not have the 10 year old version. So we're using this today. Now we are all nicely covered up with the port. That's about $3.50, $3.50 worth of port in there, half a bottle. Uh, why we're going to make the most of this sauce when it's finished um, and we'll deal with that a little bit later on. I'm high hopes for this, never cooked this before but let's see how it works out. I'm hoping it'll be very rich. And here we go in the instant pot. Please note glass lid, not pressure cook lid. Slow cook. Won't resolve the numbers very well but it's eight hours of slow cooking on medium setting because medium setting on the instant pot slow cook is about equivalent to low on most regular slow cookers main thing to remember the instant pot only heats from the bottom but i don't think that will be a problem in this case well slight change of plan on the sauce um, because we used a glass lid on the instant pot for slow cooking, the sauce itself cooked down a lot, uh, but it's not to the thickness that I want. We've only got about a cup of sauce left, so took what was left, strained it. I've added a tablespoonful of juice from the fermented plums, two tablespoons of port, and a tablespoon of brandy. It's going to reheat the meat in the sauce and thicken it just a little. I'm looking for a salad dressing type of consistency here. And here we are finished. Um, consistency of the sauce is great. Let's try that again. And here we are plated on a small plate. Smashed Yukon Gold potatoes with skin on underneath. A little bit of cabbage and julienne carrot steamed in white wine and our beef. Lovely glisten on that sauce. I've actually already tasted some. The meat is deliciously tender and it's looking good. Very flavorful. Thanks for watching all. 